Hello, hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome again to my channel, Xenovision. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how you can download and install LA Revo for your 5M game. With LA Revo, you will get added an awesome map modification to your game that will bring your gaming experience to the next level. So before we do all that, I would love for you to smash that like button and hit that subscribe button so you can start following my channel. So let's get started. <music> So yeah, to make this work, we're going to download and install a few files. Um, for that, we need to go hop over to my Discord server. You don't need to join it. The links will be also displayed on screen. So let's hop over to my Discord. Okay, on my left side, I have the file that we downloaded from the site. On my right side, I have my Discord server. Uh, feel free to stay here. We have a support center and we also have uh, an install servers. Um, we're going to head over to the GTA graphics section and we're going to search for how to install LA Revo for 5M. For this tutorial, it's going to be very short. We actually just need one link and that's uh, from the from LA Revo itself, ADNR Studio. Uh, so click on it and uh, get, your, get your license and then you can download the file right away. We are going to be needing 5, uh, 5M client side. As I am no servers, server owner, I am planning on servers. So you're going to download the client version. And what you're going to do is you're going to right click on it and extract it. Okay, so I've already done that. Let me just, for anyone that doesn't know, I'll still demonstrate. Right click, extract it, and let it load up. After it's loaded up, we're going to open it, open the folder, open that folder also. So there's going to be a readme. It's going to tell you to put it in application data mods. So let's hover, let's hover over to our 5M application data. You can locate it by searching for 5M, right click on it, open file location and right click on it again, open file location. Then here you have the 5M application data. And then it's going to tell us to put it in the mods folder. As you can see, I already have some things right here. So I am going to just delete all these. To see the difference. Deleting all that. Okay. And let's go ahead and put it all in the mods folder. And that's it. And the next step for us is to actually open up 5M and see how it looks like. So again, for this tutorial, we are going to test it on Kali World. It's a newly launched server. So let's load it up and see what happens. Okay, so we're in the server and right off the bat, I see some new things like the Rolex store. Um, I also saw a Starbucks, all these stores are new. Route 69, we have here a Starbucks right here. We have some boxes with Sprite and Red Bull. A Subway store. Billboards that are new. Okay, that's pretty awesome. I gotta tell you, Best Buy, Tide, Heineken. I gotta say that's awesome, 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 awesome done. That's, there's been a lot of work put in here. Burger King, Adidas, just look at it. But the question is, how about the stores that were already here, like the MLOs? Uh, let's check right here. Is that still, can I still go inside? Here, your brain machine. It's gonna be a good thing. let's try it out again we're trying this on the uh, Cali world okay it's still working everything is still the same that's awesome of course important oh wow more billboards I gotta say this is awesome so this map modification is pretty awesome yeah because some servers a lot of surf what the hell 
this Lincoln uh, 201. I've got a uh, 1011 with a taxi driver. It's going to be driving all the way down. Can I get a 1032 to my location? It's going to be on Innocent Boulevard. It's going to be at the closing store. Uh, my 1011 is gonna be a 1080. Can I get 1032s to my location? He's gonna currently on 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 Strawberry Ave. 1080 is gonna be a 1011. Let's turn that off. Ah, might as well uh, see the gameplay right away. Hello, sir. Hello? Hello? Sir, can you hear me? I'm talking. I'm talking. Okay, let me go ahead and introduce myself, sir. My name is Sergeant Zeno from the LAPD, and the reason for me stopping you today, sir, is because of the way you were driving back there, ignoring uh, the lights also, and you were driving zigzag all over. What's the reason for that, sir? You don't need to answer if you don't want to, of course. Can I have your license and registration, please? I don't have the registration of this vehicle. You don't have registration. Is, is it your vehicle, sir? It, it is not my vehicle. Uh, Sorry. Hey. I'll turn the engine. Yeah, how about you just step out of the car, please, and uh, no, we can just... I'll turn off the engine. Uh, it is not my vehicle. It's a company vehicle. As okay. It's a cab, as you can see. Okay, of course. But can I have your license and uh, the vehicle should... I right now alvin smith how are you doing today alvin doing all right okay uh i'll be back in one sec do you have one moment please alvin smith how are you doing today man stick around doing pretty good how about you i'm fine man thank you this guy was driving now or... uh cool. yeah yeah let's let's just stay here just let me check his name if that all checks out uh, Al yeah, Alvin Smith. Let's check on Alvin Smith. Smith. Thirty. Okay. He does not. He only has a BMX. Okay. No warrant. Nothing going on. But we are gonna give a uh, we are gonna give him a fine. But let's do that. Yeah, I'm like I, I, I still gotta pay like thirty one k, bro. Please. Okay, listen up, man. I'm uh, I'm gonna be nice to you today. Just be careful on the road, please. And uh, I'm gonna let you go with a warning, okay? All right, man. Thank you. Okay. Um, again, my name is uh, Sergeant Zeno from the LAPD. If you have no more questions for me, sir, Mr. Smith, then uh, I wish you a pleasant evening. You too, man. Take care. Bye-bye. Uh, show my 1011 code for thank you, uh, CHP. Okay, look at that. More stores. They're also, they're also... Okay, well, uh, I guess, you know, you just have to see for yourself. It all works. Uh, Graphic-wise, FPS, I have dropped about 15 frames per second. And I have done 4K, but I am running on a 3090, so... Uh, it is a lot what have been dropped, I think. But some settings are maxed. I'm at 4K... I had like 80 frames per second on the same, but as you can see my lights mod is still on so I probably didn't delete that since I've done that with OpenIV, that's the Quant V, so that has affected it, just to be clear. Oh, more billboards. So, uh, that's about it for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it, I hope you saw some value in it, uh, let me know what you thought, uh, leave some feedback. Thank you all for watching and goodbye.